Take care. Hey guys, in this video we're going to be talking about exhaust room and a quick and easy way to get rid of it. Now if you've got any kind of modified exhaust, odds are you've dealt with drone in some form. So what is exhaust drone? It's a low resonating frequency and it can be very annoying, especially long trips, interstate, highway. So how do you get rid of exhaust drone? Well, there's a couple different ways you can do it. You can use a resonator. Now, there's different styles of resonators. There's inline resonators and branch resonators. So what I'm going to be focusing on today is a branch style resonator. Now, it's also called a J-pipe or a Helmholtz resonator. Now, there are some designs that have a little cavity on the actual branch pipe. Um, I'm not going to be doing that. I'm just going to be using a straight piece of pipe that's capped off. And I'll show you why it works in just a second. I'm here in my 07 V6 Mustang. The drone has been pretty bad. Now, the drone can actually occur at either just one specific frequency or over a range of frequencies. So if you've got drone on your car, what you need to do, there's two ways you can find the, the resonating frequency. The first being, um, there's a little calculation. You take note of the RPM that it drones at, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. The second way is to use a spectrum analyzer. Now you can use an actual spectrum analyzer or you can get an app off the app store and just use your phone it'll it'll work it'll work good enough so what you do is you hop in your car go down the interstate or down the highway or whatever find the speed that you drive at the most don't necessarily find the speed where it drones the loudest um, you, you can feel free to, but it's only going to work at one frequency, a very narrow band. So this car, it drones the worst on the interstate right around 2300 RPM. So we're going to see if we can't fix that. Alright, so there's two calculations we're going to look at here. They are very simple. The first one is finding the dominant frequency. So if you choose to not use a spectrum analyzer you and you want to calculate the dominant frequency using the RPM, this is how you're going to do it. All right, so right here we have the main equation. It's going to be RPM times pulses per revolution over 60. Now to find the pulse per revolution, it's just the number of cylinders divided by 2. So for a 4 cylinder, it's 2, 6 is 3, 8 is 4. Fairly simple. So you put in your RPM, which I'm going to be using 2300, that's approximately where I determined my car was. Um, my car is a V6, so I'll be using 3, and it comes out to 115, so 115 hertz. Now when I use my spectrum analyzer, I actually got pretty much that number. The two numbers I ended up using was 110 and 117, so this number is actually right in the middle. All right, so once you have your frequency, um, you want to find the wavelength. So the equation for that is lambda equals velocity over your frequency. So for the velocity, we're going to be using 343 meters per second over 115 hertz. All right, so we get 2.9 meters. That's going to be the full wavelength. And we want a quarter wavelength. So divide that by 4, and you get your quarter wavelength. Now, I'm in America, so we're going to be moving it over to inches, so just multiply by 39.37, and you get 29.356 inches. So that is how long the, the branch resonator needs to be measuring from the exhaust pipe where you cut your hole all the way to the cap. It needs to be that length right there. And there is a little bit of tolerance, but you want to get it as close to that number as you can. 
And that's it. It's it's very straightforward, very simple. Okay, so it's pretty simple. All you're going to need is a hole saw, your piece of pipe, and a welder. And pretty much all you do is drill yourself a a two inch hole, cut the pipe, weld it on. What I did was I used a two inch hole saw and I cut out a little circle out of a piece of sheet metal, welded it back up, and that's my cap. As you can see, there's not much to it. It fits under the car nicely. It just runs right alongside the existing pipe. And the results are fantastic. Could not be happier. I regret not doing that sooner. The drone is just gone. Right there at 2300, it's just gone. Now there is still a little bit of drone when I take off and right around 60. I'm not surprised. The resonator only targets one specific frequency and I needed it most for interstate traveling. So anyway guys, that's how you make a branch style resonator. I hope this video helped you. And until next time, take care. <laughs> you know, if you like that video, you should subscribe to my channel. You too.